Hey Media Mail Gang, it is Katie with Katie Reads, and we are going to talk about what sold in the month of May. Next, I have a CD that I received from a free book pickup. When I do free book pickups, I also offer to take their media as well. So sometimes I get a lot of VHS that I can't do anything with, but I do typically get CDs, tapes, and DVDs that I can do something with. And this ended up having really great uh, comps, and so I listed it, and it sold for full asking price within 24 hours. I was really, really shocked about that. Apparently this is a rare Johnny Rivers anthology. There's not a lot out there. Do I have fear of missing out that maybe I listed it a little bit too low? Kind of, but at the end of the day, it was free cost of goods and I'm just thankful for the sale. Next is going to be kind of like three different sales, but same author. I think it's a good bolo that you guys should be looking out for. It's Thornton Burgess. He wrote a lot of animal related books. Most of his stuff is from like the 1900s and it's typically in series and he also wrote bedtime stories so he has a lot of very rare bedtime story books out there as well. These books by him I find all the time at estate sales. So the first set that we're going to talk about is a set of four that sold for $40 with free media mail shipping. And another way to know with these books that they are vintage and older is the publisher is Grosset and Dunlap. Grosset and Dunlap? I'm not 100% sure how to say the name, but that is also one of the publishers that published vintage Nancy Drew books as well. So that kind of helps you understand the era of when these were printed and the publisher. Next is Whitefoot the Wood Mouse. This was just one book from 1922 and it sold for a best offer of $22. I had listed it at $25. I'm willing to take $3 less. I only paid a dollar for it at an estate sale and it was free media mail shipping. I also want to note the previous listing. I only pay a dollar per book at most of these estate sales. So the previous listing, my cost of goods into that was $4. And finally, by Thornton Burgess. These books are from 1918 and it's Mrs. Peter Rabbit. This set was one through three. I'm not sure if there's more included with the set. I didn't do a whole, whole ton of research. However, this set sold for a best offer of $52. I had it listed at $55.79 and someone offered me $52. Again, it's kind of a no-brainer. I'm only $3 into it. Great sale and very cheap free media mail shipping for the buyer. The next two sales I'm going to talk about are Time Life books. And I think a lot of people pass over Time Life books, but they sell so well for me and pretty quickly, especially if you have a full set. The first sale I'm going to show is a Planet Earth set from Time Life books. This is a set of 11. The full set would have been 19. Uh, I'm a little bummed that I didn't have the full set. I was at a Goodwill with uh, my boyfriend, Dante Prison to Profit, and we couldn't find all the books. But... This nevertheless still sold. It still sold for my asking price of $29. I'm happy with that and I did have the buyer pay shipping. Again, these are heavy books and with a set volume this large, I typically would charge the buyer shipping for that. Next is an eight volume set. This is my favorite type of Time Life books to sell. They're very obscure and new age and they're sought after. This sold pretty quickly for me, like within a week. It's an eight volume time life book set, Mysteries of the Un of the Unknown. These also are a set of I think 19 to 20-ish books. There might be 23 of them actually now that I think about it. I've sold a full set. I've had a full set before and that sold for closer to like 80-ish dollars. But this set sold for me. I had it listed for $40 and I took a best offer of $36. So the Planet Earth Time Life book set, because I bought that at Goodwill, those were a dollar each. So I have $11 into that one. The other Time Life set, I actually purchased at an estate sale and I purchased all of the books that they had 
for $15. And in that instance, that's kind of paying up a little bit, but the good news was it was a 50% off sale at that sale. So I ended up only paying $7.50. That was a good cost of goods for me to be able to pick those up from an estate sale. So cost of goods and buyer paying shipping kind of helped the pass through with that for my shipping costs. So my profit margin was still pretty decent for these Time Life books. So the final sale that I want to talk about is actually a fellow reseller. Shout out, Cheryl the reseller supported my store and purchased two different uh, Nancy Drew books, actually three. One was the Nancy Drew Mysteries storybook number eight, which is The Mysterious Letter from 1968. So thank you, Cheryl, for purchasing that. That was $5 plus shipping. And then the vintage Nancy Drew files Shadow of Doubt and Flirting with Danger. These are a little bit more modern Nancy Drew and kind of like chapter book-ish. Um, and these I sold to Cheryl for $9.99 and I offered free shipping on that listing. So thank you, Cheryl, so much for your support. And these books I actually got through a free 99 pickup, so there are no cost of goods in these for me, so it's all profit. So Cheryl, again, thank you so, so much for the support and just always showing up in chats, liking, commenting, um, just really being a, a great support. And honestly, you're the funniest person in the reseller community, so <laughs> thank you so much for the support. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. I tried to highlight ones that are kind of bread and butter items like the Nancy Drew books and then I try to highlight the bigger items and bigger sales just to kind of show you what's out there and hopefully give you some ideas of things to pick up when you are at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, or wherever you're sourcing. And definitely be on the lookout for Thornton Burgess. His stuff sells really well and he is a vintage slash antiquarian. No, I guess he's antiquarian. He is a good antiquarian author to be on the lookout for. All those books I do want to mention that I sold of his were in, I would say, good condition. There wasn't a whole lot of writing or other issues in those books, so that's just another thing to keep in mind. Condition is just as important as well as uh, author and the type of book. I hope this gave you some value. Uh, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe or dislike if you don't like it. Do what you gotta do. See ya.